good day, greater students. Welcome to our quarter two, week one. We are going to talk about illustrating polynomial functions. Lesson one, illustrating polynomial functions. Before we proceed to our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. Letter A, identify polynomial functions. Letter B, illustrate polynomial functions. Letter C, transform polynomial functions into a standard form. Then letter G, identify the leading term, coefficient, leading coefficient, degree of the polynomial and constant term. Now, let us have an activity. You are going to determine whether each of the following is a polynomial function or not. I will give you two seconds in every number. Are you ready, class? Number 1. Y is equal to 14X. This is considered as polynomial function. f of x is equal to x cubed minus 4 square root of 2x plus x. This is not a polynomial function. Third one, y is equal to negative 2014x. This is an example of polynomial function. P of x is equal to 3x raised to 1 fourth plus 9. This is not a polynomial function. P of x is equal to 1 over 2x cubed plus 2 over 3x raised to the fourth power is not a polynomial function. y is equal to pi. This is an example of polynomial function. y is equal to 3x raised to square root of 3 plus square root of 3x squared plus 9x plus 2. This is not a polynomial function. y is equal to x cubed plus 2x plus 1. This is a polynomial function. f of x is equal to negative 4x raised to negative 100 plus 4x raised to 100. is not a polynomial function. y is equal to 1 minus 16x squared. This is considered as polynomial function. Let us analyze why a function is not a polynomial. Please take a look. Number 1, f of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 4 square root of 2x plus x. It is not a polynomial function since a variable is inside a radical sign. As you can see, x is inside a radical. Number 2, p of x is equal to 3x raised to 1 fourth power plus 9. It is not a polynomial function since it has a fractional exponent. 1 fourth is a fraction. 
Next, P of X is equal to 1 over 2X cubed plus 2 over 3X to the 4th power is not a polynomial function since the denominator has a variable. Next, y is equal to 3x raised to the square root of 3 plus square root of 3x squared plus 9x plus 2. It is not also a polynomial function since it has a radical exponent. And last one, f of x is equal to negative 4x raised to negative 100 plus 4x raised to 100 is not a polynomial function since it has a negative exponent. When you were in grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9, you learned that two function is linear if it has a degree of 1. It is quadratic if it is in the degree of 2. You also learned that a degree is the highest or the largest exponent of a, of a variable in the function. These functions are linear, quadratic, cubic, and other functions of a higher degree belong to a class of functions called the polynomial functions. If the degree is zero, or it, if it is a constant, it is what we call a constant function. If the degree is one, it is a linear function. If the degree is two, it is quadratic function. If the degree is three, it is cubic function. If the degree is four, it is quartic function. If the degree is 5, it is quintic function, while if the degree is more than 5, it is what we call a multinomial function, or all those function is what we call as polynomial functions. Now, what do we mean or what is a polynomial function? It is an algebraic function consisting of one or more sum terms. It is separated by plus or minus sign. Each term consisting of a constant multiplier and one or more variable raised to an integral powers. For example, x squared plus 5x minus 6 and 2p cubed q plus y are polynomials. It is also called multinomial. a function of two or more terms. Specifically, we can define polynomials as p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus up to a sub 1 x raised to 1 or a sub 1 x plus a sub 0, wherein a sub n is a leading coefficient, a sub n x raised to n is the leading term, a sub 0 is a constant term of the polynomial. For example, let us consider polynomial function. p of x is equal to 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 8. Let us determine the parts of the polynomial function. 5x cubed is a leading term or it is a term with the largest exponent or with the highest exponent. 5 is a leading coefficient or it is the numerical coefficient of the leading term. 
and 3 is a degree of the polynomial or it is the exponent of our leading term. Negative 8 is a constant term of the polynomial or it is a term that does not have a variable. Use the given polynomial to get standard form of the function. Leading term, leading coefficient, degree of the polynomial, and the constant term. y is equal to 4x squared minus 3x to the 4th power plus 8. So to get a standard form, we need to arrange the terms in decreasing power of x. So the standard form is y is equal to negative 3x raised to the 4th power plus 4x squared plus 8. So 3 or negative 3x to the 4th power is a leading term. Negative 3 is a leading coefficient. 4 is a degree of the polynomial. And 8 is a con is the constant term of the polynomial. Another example. Use the given polynomial to get a standard form of the function, leading term, leading coefficient, and degree of the polynomial and the constant term. y is equal to x times the quantity of 2x plus 2. Since the function is in, is in factored form, we need to make it in standard form. So we need to distribute x to 2x x times 2x is equals to 2x squared and x times 2 is equal to positive 2x so therefore the standard equation is y is equal to 2x squared plus 2x so 2x squared is the leading term 2 is the leading coefficient 2 is the degree of the polynomial and 0 is the constant term of the polynomial. So let's have an activity. Please visit your Google Classroom for an enrichment activity. I am Arnold T. Millones Jr., your math teacher facilitator. Thank you and God bless.